California. Thanks, Ayan. I'm excited to be here because for me, ball is life, so let's get it. We are in the presence of a legend. The game has begun. Abdul Jabbar. Defensive rebound. Defense is running down that shot clock. He got points on the board. Soup for you. The three does not go down. Controlling the glass with a grab and pass. The bottom. Rejected by Matumbo. Check out the ball handling. It's getting personal. The rebound and pass. Put that in the book. Super speed. Run for your life. Defense is on him like blue. West. The defense is Mutombo. Butter. You go for a dunk, you better make it. You're gonna try this in a game perfected in practice. Grabs the rebound. Abdul Jabbar grabs the board. Paul George. Ooh, I heard that slug from here. West. The defense is really controlling the pace here. Get him off the court, man. He doesn't even know the rules. Shot clock violation. Just can't get it up. He has him. 
handles. Oh, he got clobbered. The logo with the jump shot. George. Ooh, I heard that slug from here. Cherry picked it. One minute left. This is prime time. Time to show out. Straight. The logo with the jump shot. The okie doke. He ducks the eye from downtown. West. Taking all the glory with the self alley -oop. The score is beginning to reveal the story of this match. A major mismatch. 20 years after 9 11. We always love you, love you. See you soon. developing an emergency rule to require all employers with 100 or more employees that together employ over 80 million workers to ensure their workforces are fully vaccinated or show a negative test at least once a week. The president clearly expressing his frustration that one out of every four Americans who is eligible to be vaccinated still hasn't gotten the shot. He's been patient. But our patience is wearing thin, and your refusal has cost all of us. Dr. Anthony Fauci says Americans are still getting infected with the virus at 10 times the rate needed to end the pandemic. And the U.S. is headed into the fall with four times more patients in hospitals than a year ago. Now, Biden calling for an end to what he calls pandemic politics. This is not about freedom or personal choice. It's about protecting yourself and those around you. Some Republican lawmakers and union chiefs immediately pushing back against the new mandates, calling the president's actions unconstitutional. Some states are also already considering legal action. Christy Nome, the governor of South Dakota, tweeting, quote, my legal team is standing by, ready to file our lawsuit the minute Joe Biden files his unconstitutional rule. This gross example of federal intrusion will not stand. And Arizona Governor Doug Ducey tweeted out, quote, This is exactly the kind of big government overreach we have tried so hard to prevent in Arizona. This will never stand up in court. Just last December, then-President-elect Biden said he would not demand the vaccine be mandatory. The White House now saying the president's position has needed to change, along with the virus. Obviously, uh, information, uh, data evolves, uh, and the steps we need to take to address, to get the uh, virus under control, to help people return to normal, has to evolve as well. The president is also calling for regular COVID testing at all schools. The Los Angeles Board of Education taking things one step further, voting on Thursday to require all students over the age of 12 to be vaccinated vaccinated if they want to attend in-person classes. Caitlin Burke, CBN News. Well, our CBN News medical reporter, Lori Johnson, is standing by here to tell us more about this. So, Lori, the first question I've got, how in the world are these mandates going to be enforced? Well, that's a great question, Gordon, because anyone who's driven on an interstate knows that if people don't want to obey a rule, they won't unless it's enforced. And at this point, it looks I like... I thought we'd get peak awesomeness for this season. game, but Jesser the Laser just logged in to watch. Welcome, Jesser. 
Thanks for the opportunity, Ian. I'm really happy to be here. The only thing I love more than basketball is my own voice. And Shawn Mendes, of course. But this is a dream come true. There is a legendary player on the court. Everyone be ready. It's getting personal. Smooth jump shot. First bucket. Russell Westbrook with the crossover. Oh, get the turkey, because there's the stuffing. Slip right by. He To submit a weekly test that they're they're not positive. So, who's going to pay for the test?
about shame, but you're losing points, too. And lo and behold, 20 years later, the Taliban won, succeeded to defeat the most powerful...